The horses have been educated. The breeze ups have been run. The final touches have been applied. The buying bench has been primed. And they're ready. Ready to race. The 2022 Inglis Ready to Race sale is set to build on the growing list of graduates such as Forgot You, Lightsaber, Gunstock, Natoya, Alpha One, Wishful Thinker, Malkovich and Golden Monkey. In fact, the last three Inglis Ready to Race sales have produced 10 stakes winning graduates. No other two-year-old sale has had more, making it Australasia's most progressive two-year-old sale. I caught up with some vendors and prospective buyers to experience the excitement at Riverside ahead of Tuesday's sale. This year, the 2022 English Ready to Race sale, we've got 27 horses for offer in the catalogue and by 24 different stallions. So uh, we're very happy with the way they've turned up here this week and hopefully we've got a horse for every market and every budget. We've had a lot of luck and success over the last couple of years. The graduates have gone on. I uh, got a really nice small draft this year, uh, headlined probably by the Russian Revolution, the King's Widow Colt. It's my first time to the English Ready to Race sales and um, I've seen a couple of really nice horses. The guys have done an amazing job. Uh, your vendors have turned out the horses in great, great order and um, the breeze ups have been really impressive to watch. I was very happy with the way our horses breezed up. You know, they, they've worked into their breeze up really nice and, and relaxed and um, let down very well the whole lot of them. There's every sort of horse here for every every sort of trainer and uh, like I like Australian horses, they're good speedy horses. Singapore is you know a speedy type of horse needed so obviously uh, come and have a look at English. Uh, we've got a, got a nice draft of horses, everything's settled in really nicely and um, and we've got a, got a sort of a bit of a range for everyone I think. It's nearly tailor made for syndicates where they get, can get their owners into horses and they don't have to wait too long to get a result. They're looking like nice horses, you know, they're, they're, uh, I've been coming to the sales recently and there were some nice horses back home and they all win races. Yeah, this is our third year doing the sale, we um, want to support it because I think it's an up and coming sale yeah. and um, yeah. we want to get in amongst it all. First time, yeah, be a new experience for me but I'm, I'm looking forward to it. I'm, I've started my inspections today. One thing I was really thrilled was to hear in the previews the consigners saying that to, as far as I can see it's more important to have the horses well educated. The horses arrive with us, they uh, get educated, get broken in early, have uh, generally three preparations by the time they get to the breeze up gallop. So the horses are getting very seasoned to travelling, being at the racetrack, being in different environments, being at the farm, having in and outs, having exercise on the track and we say um, really what we want to provide is the, the, the ready product to ready to race horse. These horses are further along in their preparation than many other yearlings from the sales this year would be at this stage. Um, they've been taking time with because at the end of the day trainers want a horse that they can go on with longevity in racing. You know you get some there's some horses that have come through in the past that have, that have been very successful and the, and the more that happens the better the quality of horses that's coming through. Yeah, I bought a few good horses, sort of city class horses, and probably the standout ones a horse called Starlight in Singapore. He's a Group 2 winner up there. He, he's sort of the flag bearer. He's one of the first horses I bought when I went out on my own, so he, um, he's a pretty special horse for me. Democracy Manifest, he's a, he's a fun horse. He's one of, I think he's one of the favourites for the Sydney Punters and Darren Fendell. Um, he's progressing through his grades for, for the Alum Racing and, and Chris Waller, um, and he's a horse that hopefully he's going to get better with time. Um, and the lovely Philly Dussier who uh, ran second in the VRC Oaks, um, just ran down on uh, shades of the post by Willoughby. Very happy to come here every year, have had yeah, a number of success, probably the best horse we bought here so far was a horse called Relentless, uh, picked out of Blake Ryan's draft. Um, so yeah, he's been a Group 2 winner this year as a four year old in Singapore um, and he'll be heading towards their biggest race which is the Gold Cup later this year. And, Probably one of the likely favourites. Uh, the sale's going that well that you know people like myself we have to come and have a look at what's here because good horses are coming out of these sales. <laughs>